What is up guys, Tim from Smith Drew Films here, back with another Blender Game Engine tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a third person camera for your character uh, with camera collision so that it collides with walls and sticks to them instead of passing straight through them. We'll be using a little bit of Python and I will be using my template FPS. If you don't know how to make that and you want to learn, you can go to this video right here. Or you can just download it from the link in the description unless you already have a character. But let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is open up a new blend file, select both the camera and the cube and delete both of them. Then if you've downloaded my file, which if you already have a game character you wouldn't need to do, you're going to hit shift F1, navigate to the blend file, click on it, go to object and then import the camera, the cube and the plane. Then select a pen from library. Then what we're going to do is change from blender render to blender game. And now if we hit P, we can see now we can move it around with WSD and we can control it with the mouse. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select our main camera, this one right here, and we're going to hit spacebar and type in snap cursor to selected, this one right over here and click on that. Then what we're going to do is hit shift A and add two empties. We're going to add one plane axis and then another one, uh, I'll add a cube. And then we're going to add another camera as well, so shift A and camera. Then we're going to select all three of them, the camera, the two empties as well, and we're going to drag them back to about here-ish. Then what we're going to do is select the camera and hit alt R and then R, X and 90, just like that, so it's facing our character like that. Then with our camera selected, we're going to hold down shift and select the middle empty over here, then hit control P to object. Then what we're going to do is select the bigger empty, hold down shift and select the smaller one, then shift again and add the main camera, then hit control P and object. This way, this cube will be parented, this empty will be parented and the camera will be parented to this empty. So then what we're going to do is select our camera, we're going to drag open this panel right here, we're going to go to the camera settings and change the focal length to about 20 and that'll just give us a wider field of view. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the actual programming. So drag up your timeline like this and change it to the logic editor. Then what we're going to do is select our main camera. We can minimize this cube stuff over here. And we're going to add two sensors, an always sensor and a ray sensor. Then what we're going to do is change the range to about 10. Switches from global to local. And you can see the arrow pointing backwards from the camera is positive Z. So we're going to change this to positive Z. Then we can close this and actually rename it to ray with a small y, a small r. Then we can close this and under the always sensor we're going to click these three dots over here and we can minimize that as well. Then we're going to add a Python controller and we can connect both of these to the Python controller. We can minimize these and now we're going to get into the script. So what we want to do first is we want to select our bigger empty, the cube, and I'm going to name this to reset, just like that. Then what we're going to do is select our main empty and I'm just going to rename it to empty with a small e, just like that. So now we can drag this down right here and change it from outliner to text editor. We're going to drag this open a little bit and we're going to create a new script and I will call this camposition.py. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to import the BGE. So type import BGE and I'll zoom in a little so you can see my text. And then hit enter and type comt is equal to bge.logic.get current controller like that then we're going to hit enter again and type in own is equal to cont dot owner we're going to hit enter twice more and type scene is equal to bge dot logic dot get current scene with two parentheses on the end then we're going to define our two objects over here so we had empty which is equal to scene dot objects empty okay and then we also had reset so reset is equal to scene dot objects oops objects reset like that then we're going to define our ray sensor so ray is equal to c o n t dot sensors ray like that so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter twice and type if ray dot positive then a colon enter empty dot world position must be equal to ray dot hit position. Then we're going to hit enter again and hit our left arrow and type else colon enter empty dot world position must be equal to reset dot world position. Just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select our main camera and under the Python controller that we added we're going to add this script right here which is cam position like that. 
And now you'll see that if we drag this down and out like this, and we hit zero to go into this camera's view, and we hit play, we can see we have a third person camera and we can move it around like this. But now we need something to test it on. So I'm going to quickly build a little environment to test it on and I'll be back in a second. All right, so I'm back and I've made this little environment to test our third person camera in. Uh, but before we hit play, we're going to select our cube and give it a different material so we can see it. So something like this, let's drag that to blue. Then what you want to do is switch from solid view to texture view, hit N, go down to shading and switch from multi texture to GLSL just like that. Okay. Then what we're going to do is select our camera and we're going to go to the object panel right here. Go down to relation extras, check slow parent and set the offset to something like five. Then we're going to hit zero to go into our camera view. And you can see if we hit P, we can see our object in third person, we can move around. And if an object gets between us and the player, the camera jumps in front of the object like that. Now there's a small issue you realize there. If we can see, it clips the wall a little bit and there's a little bit of glitch right there. So what we're going to do to fix that is just take the camera and drag it forward a slight bit from the empty and that way it'll always stay this distance from the wall. So now if you hit play, we can go to that object again and we can go in front of it and you'll see we don't get that error anymore. Just like that. So yeah, now you can test it in an environment like this and you can see that whenever we put the object between the camera, it'll always bounce in front of it no matter where it is. When we're not there, it's going to reset to this position right over here where it is. Like that, and reset. So thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, if you did like this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more of these kind of tutorials, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you hated it, then definitely hit that dislike button so I can see that you hated it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.